Hi, I'm here today with Brian Bovio, one of the co-principals at Bovio Rubino Service, a third generation family business that has been serving the South Jersey area since 1974. Today, I'm here to ask Brian about the merger and how their focus on company culture has been an incredibly important aspect of the merger and growing the brand. I wanted to touch base and get back with Brian. Uh, it's been two years since you guys merged Bovio, Rubino together. Two long years, yes. Two long years. <laughs> and I know you expressed to us as we help you with your um, branding um, on the vehicles and also inside your facilities is that you wanted to visually impress upon the culture of the business. Can you talk about the culture, a little bit about the culture of the business and how that's been uh, important in uh, the merger and also the growth of the brand? Yeah, well, both brands, uh, when they were separate, had their own cultures. They were similar. Um, we've both been in business uh, for over 40 years, um, both family owned. Um, and that's important to us and it's important to our employees that we, even as we are larger after the merger, um, and there's 50 plus employees now, that it mm -hmm. still has that family feel to it. Um, anyone can come in this office and talk to me and Angela whenever they want to. When we combined brands, uh, we had to merge our cultures as well. Um, and they, again, they fit together fairly close, but they were different. And the new company has a, a distinct feel that was different from either of the previous companies. It's, mm. uh, it's a good thing, but um, yep. we always say that uh, I'm chaos and Angela is order. So we, we combine those things together. Right. Um, and uh, it's helped grow everything, but especially, you know, having half, half a team from one company and half a team from another company to convey the combined messaging. Um, you, know, you guys were a big help. Um, we wanted to get displays around the building with right. our core values and, um, you know, we did marketing surveys and um, how the team felt about the company, what the team thought the company was and what our customers, uh, you know, felt about the old companies and the new company um, and convey that message and build it in so when new people come uh, on board, they they know what we're about. And you guys have helped uh, display that all over the building, right. um, all over the trucks, all the trucks. Uh, all the trucks. That was a big project, wasn't yeah. it? Yeah, <laughs> big project, a fun project. I think that's a fantastic approach that you took a marketing survey and not just so much a marketing survey, but the idea is that you and Angela didn't want to just dictate what the culture was going to be as you merged these companies, but you really went back and, and said, how do we want to be seen? But you relied on your team and your customers to provide those answers. How did that yeah. work out? Interesting, because, you know, we always thought that family owned business was important um, to customers. Not at all mm. um, to the internal to the team, it matters a lot that this is a family-owned company. Even okay. it's, it's two families now, but it's right. still family-owned. Right. Um, to the team, that's really important. They don't like working for corporate America. Um, but to our customers, that didn't matter so much. They care that we're local. They don't care who owns it necessarily. Um, so we found out different things mm. from the different marketing studies, the internal right. versus the external. Um, one thing that came up, and this was a common thread between the team and our client base is that we're honest. Uh, one of our team members actually said, we don't lie, period. Um, and now we have uh, buses and billboards and everything. Signs, signs up in here. And wall murals. That's um, how we developed our, our, our main slogan, honest like nobody's right. business. The challenge of today, that seems to be a great fit for how your, your employees be a conduit of the company yeah. when they go out on service yeah. calls. Now, when it's important yeah. to them, I mean, our, our mechanics, our people on the phones in here, um, you know, we're not perfect. Things get messed up sometimes, but the entire team knows if we mess something up, me and Andrew are going to stand behind it and take care of it. So we don't we don't skirt issues. If we make a mistake, we, we just fix it. So, and that's, uh, that's important to our customers, obviously, yeah. but it's real important for the morale of the team as well. Brian, thanks for being here today. Thank you. Appreciate it. Um, you know, if you're in the South Jersey, area and could really use a HVAC contractor you can trust, Bovia Rubino Service. Yep. Thank and, you. And if you need a truck lettered sunrise <laughs> signs, if you need 50, even better. That, that's right. <laughs> 50 trucks, we'll take it. Urals, all those good stuff. Thanks, Brian. All right. Thank you, Al. Yep. Thanks.